It's nighttime, and you stand guard over your village chief, ever vigilant by the door, no one in or out. The door remains locked, and you remain alert. Morning comes, and your replacement arrives, but to your surprise, he places you under arrest. The village chief is dead. His eyes are bloodshot from petechial hemorrhaging. Someone smothered the chief, but who could have done it without your involvement? But it wasn't you. You're sure of that. What could it have been? A ghost? No, it was an assassin. But how could they have done it? Welcome to the WBZ universe where step by step I'm creating the next massive sci-fi fantasy universe right here on YouTube. APA file 90011 is on clay, the first acolyte from planet Kowloon allowed into the Milky Way Academy. But why would they allow an assassin into the school? The APA has a law that allows every planet one acolyte and one guardian to protect their planet. The APA had hoped for years that everyone would just ignore the fact that Kowloon had been overlooked. Unproven and not breaking any actual APA laws, the Kowloon are known for one thing and one thing only, assassins for hire. The Kowloon appear on the outside to be clay humanoids, but in reality, they are very small, mole humanoids who hide within the clay. The Kowloon have the unique ability to control clay molecules through enchanting. I'll place a link down in the description, but this is the same way that bubbles from planet Enchantus can control oil and soap molecules. Originally, to protect themselves from predators, they developed this skill and forced the clay into a solid sphere that they could run around in like a hamster ball. The ball, nearly as strong as steel, gave them a safe place to hide, but it it was extremely isolating to be separated from the rest of their species. To counter this, they began using softer clay as avatars to replace their bodies. It worked to a certain degree, but it was thought that without that personal touch, they lost a portion of their humanity. This has also caused an evolutionary trait of blindness in their species, and instead they sense their surroundings through vibrations. It is believed that the Kowloon are not only exceptional martial artists, but with very little worry of being harmed because of their armored spheres and their clay avatar bodies. But their ability to control the clay extends to clay that is detached from their bodies as well. If even a marble-sized piece of clay finds its way into your throat, it's unlikely you will be able to breathe, let alone scream. A Kowloon assassin doesn't even need to be in the same room as their victim. They just need the smallest crack for their clay to gain entry. And their ability to sense their clay is so strong that they can remove every last bit from their victim leaving no trace they had anything to do with the assassination. At age 13, Clay was the youngest of the potential acolytes being observed by the Valeris during the vetting process. Clay leaves Kowloon in a single occupant spaceship and travels directly to Aru. Aru is home to the immortal race, the Pharaoh, and the Pharaoh Ra. I will link their origin story down in the description as well. Upon their arrival, the Valeris are unexpectedly detained for three hours for questions. Clay, on the other hand, was not even stopped by security. When the Valeris leaves security, it doesn't take them long to find Clay walking back to his ship. On his way, Clay spots a shelled creature on its back and helps it back to its feet, looking over his shoulder twice, apparently to make sure that the creature is okay. Clay makes it back to his ship and travels directly home. The next day, the Aru state-run media reports a terrible coincidence. Three powerful officials that appeared sympathetic to the Amber slaves on Aru passed away overnight. It is very difficult to determine the manner of death on beings whose healing is so strong that they're considered immortal. Generally speaking, the only way an immortal can die is if something hinders its healing process by either controlling its blood flow or its oxygen by squeezing its heart or blocking its airways. And this would be a long, excruciating death. When the Valeris scouts report their findings, they state that they are all but certain that the deaths were caused by Clay and Amun-Ra, the leader of the Pharaoh. They also reported that Clay helped the shelled creature back on its feet. They hope that this is the crack that the Milky Way Academy needs to reach Clay's humanity. In the end, the other candidates were all suspected in similar acts, but Clay was the youngest candidate and the only one to show any compassion, the lack of objection from from the head of Kowloon or any of their allies worries the APA. They have placed all teachers 
and the council on high alert and ask them to keep a close eye on Clay. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and click the next video to go further down the rabbit hole. I'm the king pin.